So we're going to continue with uh, more formulas in geometry, and specifically the area and circumference of circles. So the top of the page, it says to recall that in a circle, the degree measure of an arc is equal to the measure of the central angle that intercepts that arc. So remember, a central angle has its vertex at the center. So we have ver our angle AOB, that's 80 degrees, and the arc that that angle intercepts is arc AB, and that's also 80 degrees. An example of an angle that does not have a vertex on the uh, center of the circle is this angle right here. So it's only when the vertex is at the center that the arc is the same measure as the angle. Okay. Down below, we're going to take a look at some formulas for arc length and area of a sector, which have to do with the area and circumference of the whole circle. So before we get into these two formulas, which are on your reference sheet, let's take a look at the vocab above. So we have the center of the circle here. We have a radius of the circle, so that's the segment drawn from the center to a point on the circle. The diameter is the segment drawn from two endpoints that are on the circle but must pass through the center. An arc of a circle is part of the total circumference, so that's an arc and the total circumference would go all the way around. And that is a distance, so if you were to, say, cut it right here, you could lay it flat, okay, like a piece of string, and that's the total circumference. So from the reference sheet, the area is pi times radius squared, and their circumference is pi times diameter, or uh, 2 pi times the radius. Every diameter is made up of 2 radii. So let's look at arc length first. Again, that's a portion of the circumference. It's a portion or part, okay? That part is dependent upon this central angle right here. So part of the total circumference, now all the way around the circle, would be an angle in the center of 360 degrees. So that part, oops, I'm trying to get rid of that. This portion or part would be theta over 360. Again, the theta is the central angle, whatever that is. So it's that fraction of multiplication, the total circumference, which is 2 pi r. Okay, you can also look at it in terms of a ratio. So the ratio of the central angle to the total number of degrees in a circle is equal to the ratio of the arc length to the total circumference. Okay. Now the error of a sector, um, that again is relation to theta, but it's just the, the area of a part of the whole circle or say a piece of pie, a piece of pizza. So it's just the area of that part only. So it's a portion of the total area. So we could add in the words total. Okay, and that portion is theta over 360. We need to know how much the circle we're talking about times pi r squared. So it is that angle out of 360 is directly proportional or in the same ratio is the area of the sector, I'm just going to draw a sector, over the total area of the circle. Example one. What is the arc length? So arc length has to do with circumference to the nearest tenth, we're going to round, of an arc with a central angle of 60 and a radius of 5. So let's draw a circle. Okay, I'm going to draw a central angle of 60. So I'm going to go over and then maybe here. It doesn't have to be to scale. So here's a 60 degree central angle and we have a radius of 5 inches. And we're trying to find this arc length here. So I'm going to show you both methods and then you can pick which method you want to start. 
So I'm first going to start with the portion of the total circumference. So the portion, we have 60 over 360 times 2 pi times the radius. OK, I'm going to put this over 1 and then multiply straight across. So 2 times 5, 10 times 60 is 600 pi over 360. I'm going to reduce that fraction. Actually, I'm not going to reduce. You can type it all into the um, calculator because we're rounding. So this decimal is 5.2359877756. So to the nearest tenth, the arc length is approximately 5.2 inches. It is a linear measurement because we're talking about circumference, okay, or part of the circumference. So we can do it that way, or we can look at it in terms of ratios, and the angle to 360 is directly or in the same ratio as the arc length. So I'll call the arc length x, so I can solve for it. x to the total circumference, or circumference rather, which is 2 pi r. And that 2 pi r was right here, okay, so that's 10 pi. So cross multiply, we get 360 x. 60 times 10 again is 600. 600 pi, and you can see we're doing the same thing. Divide by 360, so x is going to equal this decimal right here. Number two, find the central angle of the circle below to the nearest tenth given its arc length. So because this part of the circle is shaded, our central angle is this angle right here theta, okay? So to start, since we know the arc length, I'm going to start with arc length of 56.9 equals theta over 360 times 2 pi r, and my radius is 15. So 2 pi times a radius of 15. I'm going to put this over 1, and I get 56.9 equals 30 theta pi over 360. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 360. Cancels out. Multiply this side by 360, and we get 20,484 equals 30 pi uh, theta. So I'm going to divide by 30 pi. That cancels, and theta equals. Now, when you do the operation of dividing by 30 pi, type it all in as one fraction, OK? Don't try to do the 20,484 divided by 30 pi. Type it in using your fraction bar, and you'll always get the right answer, OK? So now we get theta equals 217. 0.3419903. Rounding to the nearest tenth, uh, the angle is approximately 217.3 degrees. If you wanted to set it up as a ratio, again, theta to 360 equals arc length, so 56.9 times the total circumference, which would be right here, 2 pi r, or 30 pi, okay? Number three, in the diagram below of circle P, so the circle's named by the center, the length of PN, so that's a radius, is three inches, and the measure of arc MN is 80 degrees. What is the area in terms of pi of the unshaded region? So the unshaded region, okay, is this right here, okay, in white. The shaded is in orange or gray on your paper. Now, if this arc is 80 degrees, this angle is 80 degrees, and this angle right here we'll call theta. Theta is equal to 360 minus that 80 degrees. So that's going to equal 280 degrees. So now the area of that shaded portion is part of the total area. So part 
meaning 280 over 360 of multiplication of 12 9 is pi times 3 squared. So I'm going to put this over 1 and multiply straight across. So then 3 squared is 9. 9 times 280 is 2,520 pi over 360. And this, didn't, this question didn't tell us to round. It told us to leave the area in terms of pi. So I'm just going to divide the 2,520 by 360 and leave the pi alone, and we get 7 pi. Okay. What is the area? We need a unit, so the area is in terms of square inches. As a ratio, okay, that would be 280 to 360 equals, now the total area, pi r squared, is right here, and that goes on the bottom, so 9 pi, and then we're trying to find the area of the sector. So I'm going to put or call that x. Now we can cross multiply and get 360x equals 9 pi times 280, which was 2,520 pi. And we divide by 360. And we're back to here. Number four. The gray sector area equals three or 30 pi inches squared. What is the radius of the circle and what is the area of the circle? So let's start with part A. What is the radius of the circle? So I'm trying to find either this distance or this distance, okay? Now I know that the gray sector area, so this area right here, they tell me is 30 pi. So that 30 pi, that area is equal to part of the total area. So that part is dependent on the 300 degree central angle. So 300 over 360 times pi r squared. And now we have to solve for r, okay? So the next line, because we have pi on both sides of the equal sign or the equation, we can cancel that out. And we end up with 30 equals, now I'm going to put this over 1 so I can multiply the two fractions. 300 times r squared is 300 r squared over 360. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 360. And then 30 times 360 is 10,800 equals 300 r squared. Divide by 300 and we get 36 equals r squared. And the opposite of squaring r would be taking the square root of r. And we have r equal to the positive and negative square root of 36, which is 6. But we don't want to keep the negative radius because the radii can't be negative. So we're going to reject and we have a radius of 6. So now for part B, we can find the total area of the circle if the radius is 6. That's just simply pi times r squared. So pi times 6 squared, the area is 36 pi inches squared. And I should also include the inches for the radius. All right, last one. Number 5. In the diagram below of circle O, the area of the unshaded sector AOC is 13 pi, and the length of OC is 6 inches, which is already marked. Determine and state the measure of the angle AOC. So the area of the shaded sector is 13 pi. So I'm going to note that. Let me get rid of the orange. And the length of OC is marked. We want to determine and state the measure of this angle, which I'm going to call theta. So I know that that angle is dependent on the total area. So theta over 360 times pi r squared. So that area equals 
13 pi. I'm going to put this over 1, and we end up with 36 pi theta over 360 equals 13 pi. And I should have canceled out the pi's above, or I could have, because they're on both sides of the equal sign. So now multiply by 360. We end up with 36 theta, and the product of 13 and 360 is 4,680. Divide by 36, and theta is equal to 130. So my answer, the measure of angle AOC, is equal to 130 degrees.